y'all. Why don't you guys come along with us because we're gonna give you an inside tour to see how we explore and really search out what it means to be a restaurant serving the South in the North and all the brown liquor and fried chicken that implies. are sweet hush puppies in the south but it's a personal preference and I just always like the savory ones so Fried shrimp po' boy, the blackened catfish po' boy, cornbread, coastal slaw, grits, and lobster mac. At home, I never Yay. get the drumstick, so. Hey. Smart mom, I always makes two drumsticks. See, now these grits are totally different. Thicker, a lot thicker. This is actually more like what? you'd make at home versus what you get at a restaurant. Just because oh. they don't, they're not cooked as long as they it seems like. Maybe that's the mashed potatoes in me. Right. You know? Right. That wants it to be a little bit more cutsy. Yeah. I don't know what our Minnesota equivalent is. I mean, I keep trying to find that. But there would be cornbread and biscuits. Oh, you know Any what? sort of gathering where it's not your immediate family, you would have a bone. Because you didn't know what like everybody buns. wanted. That's what I think it is. Right? I think it's bun. Bun. I think it's like, like a roll. hamburger, like but, a it's hamburger roll. Yeah. but it's roll. It's a roll. It's a roll. Okay. Craig. She just turned your first name into two oh, syllables. But this place was doing southern food before yes, there was anybody like thinking that there was a cool thing about fried chicken and about you know gumbo and jambalaya and stuff it like that. It was the only place in town. It was, and they had one in Minneapolis. I think it's associated with like being a kid and being forced to eat things you just didn't want to eat. I don't want all the stuff. Yeah, I don't, honestly just don't want pimento cheese, yeah, cheese yeah, and some like freaking. I love yeah. that. We have just gotten like thicker and thicker as far as yeah. the grits go. Don't you think? I mean, isn't but isn't it part of the reason that like the revival is finally the one that like really clicked and is the one that like nobody can get it? Because like it's Thomas. It's because Thomas grew up in it. There's an authenticity that is implied and and seen in the dishes with where Thomas grew up, but he's also made food for the way we're eating today. So it's sort of it's that bridge that we've been talking yeah. about, you know. When this popped off my pants in the men's restroom. <laughs> so, it's so legitimately from your pants. Legitimately, like, the button from my pants. Yeah. 